Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. We're going into the weekend and today's video I am showing you my entire 4k collection. I broke down my entire physical media collection into segment videos because I didn't want to film a two or three hour long video showing you my entire collection all in one video because I really don't think you would stay for that long. So this video is the entire 4k video. I have box sets, slip covers, regular 4ks, no steel books, not no steel book 4Ks because that would be way too complicated. If you want to see my steel books, I did my entire steel book collection video last week. So you can go and check that out. But let's get started because I don't want a half hour long video of 4Ks, but I do have over 90 titles to show you. I have a lot. And I figure I'll show these off. And if you're interested in any of these, you can at least check them out and see what they look like. And you might want to purchase them for yourself. So let's get started with box sets. And what better way to start with the box set that I debuted in yesterday's video for the Blu-ray haul, and that is the Columbia Classics Volume 2 4K Collection. This is an amazing, I'm just going to hold it like this. This is an amazing box set. So glossy, so nice. There's a little book that also comes with it. You get six 4Ks in this collection set. You get Oliver, Anatomy of a Murder, Taxi Driver, Sense and Sensibility, Stripes, and also The Social Network. And I actually pulled each one of those, those movies out individually in my video yesterday. So if you want to check that out, then just go to my January Blu-ray haul video if you want to see all of those movies individually in their slip covers. All right, so that is the Columbia Classics set. It is one of the best I have. Probably the best box set that I have. Very nice, very classy. Classy is the word. All right, moving on to another box set that I love, the Karate Kid box set on 4K. Now we only have up to three, no next Karate Kid. Sorry, Hilary Swank, you are not a part of this collection, but here is the front. Here is the back with pretty much every single character from every movie, which I think is awesome. And then if you wanna check out the slip covers, here is what the first one looks like. And then here is the second one, very nice. And then also the third one. So if you're interested in picking up this set, now you have a little bit of knowledge of what this does indeed look like. And I have to say the 4K transfer is pretty, pretty well done. I haven't checked out one and two from this set yet, but I did watch three preparing for Cobra Kai season four, and it was a very nice transfer. So I'm looking forward to watching the first and the second one to check out those. So that is the Karate Kid. Now in preparation for Spider-Man No Way Home, I had to upgrade the Amazing Spider-Man set to the 4K. So we have Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. There we go. And this lovely little booklet. Some people like these. Some people don't. I don't mind them. I think as long as you take care of your stuff, it's really not that big of a deal. So I really enjoy that one. But this one is truly amazing. And I don't believe you can get this here in the States. And that is the Willy Wonka set on 4K. This is unbelievable. I got this sent to me from a subscriber. I've said this a couple of times already, but I just can't help it. It's truly amazing. There's the front, there is the back. And when you take it out, it's the Wonka bar. How awesome is that? It is so cool. Who else has something like this besides people overseas where it came out? There we go. Tons of stuff in here. There's like a little booklet. There's posters. It's so awesome. There we go. Little note cards and everything. So this is one of the best items that I do have in my collection on 4K. Very unique. If I can try to struggle to get it back in. There we go. So the Willy Wonka set with the Wonka bar inside, I love this one. It's one of my favorites. It makes my collection stand out just a little bit, which is always good. Pardon me for my reaching. I'm working with a two table situation per usual, as I always do in these videos. All right, so going into like more box sets, box sets kind of slip covers going, going together. So I have the Kingsman 2 movie collection. I scored when I found this. I found this for about $14, $15 at Target. So to get that for a two movie collection is pretty nice. So I have the Kingsman 
And that really makes me torn because now we have that steel book set coming out for the Kingsman and also regular 4K slipcover. So I might just get the regular 4K slipcover. But why do they have to make it so complicated and put out something so nice? All right. Now, this is what everyone wanted. The Halloween 4Ks when they came out. This was highly anticipated, but nothing but problems. I was very fortunate because all five all five that I have right here, all five of my movies came on time together on release day. And I know a lot of people did not have that experience. And I'm so sorry that a lot of people had so many problems. I know I was very fortunate. So here is the first Halloween. There is Halloween 2. Halloween 3 with an awesome slipcover on it. Amazing more of like a box, really. I know I've said this again, but we all thought these were slip covers and they're actually, they're hardcover boxes. Very nicely, very nicely done. So there's Halloween four and then ending with Halloween five, even though Michael Myers looks like he's wearing a Nicolas Cage mask, but that is okay. We will just deal with that. So that is definitely also one of the pride and joys in my collection, having the first five Halloween movies on 4k in that format. And then we had our Christmas gift exchange between me, Tony P. Durant Cinema, and Slayer Reviews, my friend Evander from across the pond. And I was so fortunate because my friend Tony is so giving and so generous towards me. So in that gift exchange, he gave me the Menace to Society 4K, as well as Uncut Gems, both of them Criterion, whoa, Shadow, both of them, um, both of them Criterion 4Ks. There we go. So Tony, thank you so much for sending these to me. You are so generous. Unbelievable. I totally unbelievable. Do I deserve this? I don't think I do, but I'll take it. If, if it's sent my way, I'll take it. All right. Then on a whim, I picked up the Hills Have Eyes, an arrow release on 4K. I've never seen this. I'm thinking I should be scared of this, <laughs> quite frankly. Just looking at it, I'm kind of scared. But it is Wes Craven, and I enjoy his work, so I will give it a chance. I'll probably have all the lights on when I'm watching it, but that's all right. And then I did pick up the classic Universal Classic Monsters on 4K. I still have not watched this, but when I have the time... I will sit down. I probably won't get to it until next October, but that is okay. I have it in my collection, so that's all that matters. All right. Now we're moving on to regular slipcovers, and I have a lot. So let's just like try to breeze through this really quickly. So we have Silence of the Lambs. I have not watched this yet for the 4K transfer, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like on 4K. Then I picked up a Clockwork Orange. I did not get the Steelbook. I got the 4K. I got Mechanic Resurrection. A subscriber sent this one to me. And then Tony sent me Raya and the Last Dragon. And then I got 300 from a subscriber. Hellboy. And yes, I picked up Snake Eyes. I didn't think it was that horrible. Maybe because I'm just not used to that franchise for some reason. I, I don't know what it's supposed to be. But I didn't think Snake Eyes was that horrible of a movie. It's definitely the best of the G.I. Joe movies. Because the other ones are whew, really stinkers. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, we have Space Jam. Speaking of, we have the G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe Retaliation, and also G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra, or whatever the title is. They were on that massive sale of, like, what, $9.99, something ridiculously cheap, and that's why we picked them up. Gotta get Godzilla vs. Kong. I can't talk today, so just bear with me for some reason. In the Line of Fire, great, great Clint Eastwood movie. If you guys have not seen this, I really do recommend that you watch it. And then I did pick up Male Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. I got to enunciate better. This video is going down the toilet. All right. Mad Max. We got Mad Max, The Road Warrior. I know I'm the Steelbook Queen. And I had the choice between Steelbooks and Slipcovers. And I went with the Slipcovers, believe it or not. I saved some money. And I thought the Slipcovers looked really cool. So I went with the Slips. I know. Shocking. And then Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Then we got... 
V for Vendetta. This is probably one of my favorite slip covers. Look how glossy this is. It just looks nice and it feels so slick. I love it. I haven't watched this movie yet, but I am looking forward to when I have some time. Too many movies, too little time, but that's okay. I like to have that problem. Then we have Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Next up is Last Night in Soho. Watch this one last night. <laughs> Coincidence? Whatever, bad joke. So I will let you know my thoughts about this movie in Never Seen It series the next time I do it. Then we have Misery on 4K, one of the best transfers that I have seen. So if you've not picked up Misery and you are a fan, definitely, definitely pick this up. It is worth it. Wonderful transfer. Fantastic. Picked up No Time to Die. I did indeed pick up They Live. Another version of Willy Wonka on 4K. <laughs> Gotta have Scream. Have to have Scream. One of my favorite horror movies of all time. So had to pick up that 4K. And then Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Finally for slipcovers, we have Do the Right Thing. Collateral. And lastly, Juice. Okay, so let's get to the 4Ks with no slipcovers. So these ones, primarily, I bought them on wicked cheap sales off of Amazon or on Best Buy or other random websites. That's probably the reason why they do not have slipcovers, because I bought them cheap on sale, let's be honest. So I have American Gangster, Despicable Me, Van Helsing. Field of Dreams. I know I got a lot of crap from a lot of people when I did cars speeding outside my house. I got a lot of crap from people because I did not have this in my sports movie collection. So I finally decided to pick it up. Then we have three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Love this movie. Gotta love my man Sam Rockwell in that film. Classic Wizard of Oz. Had to get this one. On sale even. Had to get that. The Greatest Showman. Underrated musical. Why more people don't enjoy this, I don't know. It's very catchy. Those songs are fantastic. Then, when we had this most recent Black Friday with the very, very good sales on 4Ks, had to pick up the Dark Knight trilogy. Absolutely, because I only had them on Blu-ray. So here is the Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight. I love this cover. It's the best of the three. And then Batman Begins. Okay. Can't have a 4K collection without some Arnold. So we have Red Heat. This one was okay. Not a bad watch. Very interesting duo of Arnold and Jim Belushi. Bohemian Rhapsody. One of my favorite... One of my... I cannot talk today to save my life! One of my favorite biopics. There we go. Cold Pursuit, Cliffhanger, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, got Independence Day. A lot of these were from Black Friday deals, $7.99, $9.99. That's when I really stocked up. Then from, I believe, Gus, one of my very loyal subscribers and friends, he sent me Two of the Underworld titles, regular Underworld and also Blood Wars. There we go. I still have not watched the Underworld movies, so I got to get on it. But I'm dedicating myself to watching a collection, at least, at least one collection per month. So I can try to breeze through what I have. Okay, speaking of breezing through, let's breeze through the rest of these, the rest of these titles. So I did have to get, because I got the other two movies on 4k i wanted to get the other two on 4k because i heard the anthology series was not that great there were there was mistakes and it didn't look like quality packaging so i didn't want to pick that one up so i picked up mad max on 4k as well as fury road then we have gattaca the fifth elements i'm worried that my table is going to topple over the trilogy of Shaun of the dead hot fuzz and the world's end there we go Tony sent me Deepwater Horizon. Thank you again, Tony, for that one. Then we've got A Wrinkle in Time. 
Groundhog Day. You know what I'm going to be watching on February 2nd. I'm a sucker for a theme. You guys know that. Any kind of holiday. If there was a movie called Flag Day, I would watch it on Flag Day. Trust me. Overlord. There probably is a movie called Flag Day. Pitch Perfect 3. X-Men Dark Phoenix. I know. I have not watched yet. I haven't seen any of the X-Men movies, but I've heard this one is really super bad, but I had to get it. It is a Marvel property and whatever. It was during a Black Friday sale that year, so might as well get it when it's on sale. Same thing with Venom. It was on sale that year, so I picked it up on 4K and then Hell or High Water. Finally, rounding out the 4Ks with Philadelphia. I'm worried about my piles. Stand by me. The double pack of Tomb Raider. Just picked those two up. Hellboy 2. Glass. Split. And finally, ending with Bram Stoker's Dracula. Ooh, my pile's about ready to fall over. So those are all of my regular 4Ks that I have in my collection. If I counted correctly, I believe I have about 97 titles. So let me know down below what 4K movies do you have and how many are in your collection. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.